Welcome back to the channel, Classic Volkswagen Lovers uh, Jr. with the uh, Classic VW Bucks and Sony the Super Beetle. If this is the first time that you're watching my channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that every time that I upload a new update for Sony the Super Beetle, you get a message. So today we're going to be working with the headliner, installing the uh, V-Peeler uh, headliner. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this wind lace and we're going to slide it into the clippers. After we slide it into the clippers, we'll take a rubber hammer and we'll bend them in to fasten the wind lace. After we do that, we're going to grab a piece of uh, the poly wrap that I use uh, for insulation and we're going to cover the clippers to provide a nicer, smooth surface. So this right here is the, the wing lace and it's a thick rubber uh, that it's got a groove in the back where the uh, creeper uh, clip on and fasten the liner against the B peeler. So these little guys right here are the clippers. We'll take this wind lace. We'll press the uh, wind lace back into the uh, clippers and ensure that the back side of the liner is facing towards the outside so that when you install it and you wrap the B pillar your finish uh, liner surface it's facing inside the car okay so before you press the wind lace into the uh, b pillar uh, clippers ensure they are open wide enough to assure the clipper tips is uh, properly aligned with the back uh, crevice on the wind lace Okay, so I'm gonna begin my installation of the wind lace from the bottom to the top, uh, making sure that when I press the wind lace into the uh, B pillar clippers, the uh, tip is properly aligned with the crevice in the back of the wind lace. Okay, so have a uh, closer look. Notice how all of the uh, little clippers are inside the wind lace uh, crevice. And if you follow all the way to the top, they are all properly aligned. Okay, so now we're uh, ready to uh, tap the uh, grippers with a rubber hammer to secure the wind lace in place. We're ready now to tap the clippers down. To add a strip of the same material that I use as my foam padding, the poly wrap, gluing it to the clipper itself all the way down. So I'm going to go ahead and spray uh, some adhesive in the clippers and then I'm going to go outside, spray some adhesive to this, wait one minute for it to tack and then we'll come back and install it. outside now and spray this okay so we'll just begin by installing it right there Trim the excess. Okay. 
Next step. True. Now we're going to spray some adhesive in the back of the uh, head liner for the B peelers. We're going to spray some adhesive here and then we're going to wait one minute. And uh, wait one minute, let that tack. Let's see how this goes. So we're going to pull this. Okay, so cutting some flaps to fall against the uh, B pillar. And once I have completed uh, as many as I need to, I'm going to go outside the car and trim them to size. And I'm going to use the B pillar uh, edge as a reference. In my case, I think that these are about three eighths of an inch to half an inch. Not an easy task, especially when this is not what you do for a living. At this point, you can check your fitment and cut any excess material that's in your way. side here. There was a minute there where my GoPro uh, battery uh, died. I had to go downstairs and get another one, but I was on the wait period of getting this uh, tacky so that I could just stretch it and glue it right there. Using the uh, heat gun here to release some of the wrinkles from the vinyl, 
But if you do so, be careful that you don't get the heat gun too close to the uh, liner. You might burn it. <laughs> Okay, so here I'm cutting out uh, the openings for the screws that hold the crossbar where the back uh, seat cushion rests. And then I'm going to install them so I won't forget. Okay, here at the uh, bottom of the uh, B pillar, cutting out the opening for the bolt that holds the uh, seat belt. in there uh, there is a little black dot right there I'm gonna get some alcohol and try to clean it it's gotta be another hole somewhere So I marked the uh, two holes for the strap assist, but that's pretty much it right there. This is the first time that I do a sedan headliner. I think it'll work. And then you do the same on the other side. So next we do the uh, driver's side. We're gonna go ahead and install our wind lace just like we, we did the other side. Okay, mission accomplished. Driver's side completed. Time to move to work with the overhead liner. Okay, so let me show you what I did. I grabbed my top overhead headliner and uh, lay it on top of the car to make a mark inside where each bow will align. And the way I, I got this idea was by referencing our old body right here, Frankenstein. So what I did, Frankenstein has the original headliner in it. So what I noticed was that if you look in this little bend window right here, the first bow almost aligned right at the edge of that there. So from there back, I made some marks using this one as a reference. Using Frankenstein's original headliner as a reference, my first bow, it's almost aligned with that first uh, bent uh, glass right there. And the same on the other side. You can see right here, the other aligning point that I used uh, to have it at least center, if you follow this trim, you see that the seam of the headliner, it's almost dead center. Okay, so next with a Sharpie, draw a line to know exactly where each bow is going to be installing. Okay, next I'm going to insert the uh, bow in the driver's side as far as I can and put a marking in the bow when it stops at the very edge of the rail. Come back over here to the driver's side, mark the bow at the very edge of the uh, passenger rail and, and then add whatever it's inserting in that end to this end. You have to repeat these steps for all of your bows.
three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. We're measuring here three and three quarters. So we're going to grab our pliers and uh, there we go. Uh, and then it's in. It's also in over here. Okay, fantastic. So that's our last bow. Now we take that last bow and we install it in the headliner. We have to put some end caps. I'm afraid I don't have those unless they are inside that box, which I haven't checked. But if I don't find any right now, I want to leave the headliner at least inside the car. I could use, I figure, maybe some black tape and uh, tape the end of the bow with uh, black tape. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, take this bow out. Okay, so I have to go back in there, take that bow out and install it here, which is the last one. I'm going to fold the whole headliner and then I'm gonna try to install the bows and align them where I put my marks. Okay, so here we go. Over here, I put some clips holding it, trying to stretch it. I'm gonna pull this over and pinch it. With... No, it's not the end of the video, sorry. <laughs> Uh, but the video is quite a long video and I'm going to break it in clips so I can upload it into YouTube in uh, small segments uh, so you can watch the whole installation. It's quite the tedious job uh, to install a headliner, especially if it's uh, your very first uh, time doing it. Uh, for me, this happens to be the very first time installing a sedan headliner. Uh, I think a convertible headliner is easier than uh, this one to install. Uh, that's my take on it because that's I've done uh, and I have actually done headliners for convertibles and I find it to be easier than to do um, one for a sedan. But anyway, uh, stay put, watch the next uh, video clip. I'm going to make uh, sure that I put a note in the end of every clip so you can watch the whole uh, installation and uh, see what happened to me at the last minute and how I got to fix it. So. Uh, stay put so you can learn uh, from my mistake. Uh, see you here soon, okay?